Hi, I'm Dr. Papia Bhattacharji. In this problem, we have the function of two variable, c is equal to 3x plus 2y. We have to compute the first partial derivatives of this function, but using the limit definition, not, not directly. Okay, so the first partial derivatives are the derivative of z with respect to x and then the partial with respect to y. So let's talk about the first one with respect to x. Okay, what is the limit definition to compute this partial derivative? Notice that this is, this is just, uh, I, I, I don't even want to call it a generalization of the limit definition of our usual derivative definition. It's almost similar. So remember the definition of derivative when you have a function of one variable x, you know, limit delta x approaching zero, and then you have an expression here. And what is the expression? f of x plus delta x, so you change x a little bit, and then minus fx divided by delta x, right? But here, see the function is not a function of one variable. There are two variables, x and y. So how does the definition change? Note that the partial with respect to x is still taking derivative only with respect to one variable, and y is constant in this case. So all we have to do is change x, keep y as it is. And then minus just the function f of x, y, and divide by delta x. So if you notice, this is the exact definition, limit definition of derivative for one variable if you just cover up the y, right? Okay, I am considering this function as my f of x comma y, okay? And I'm gonna use this expression to rewrite all these different forms and then solve the limit. So this is the limit definition and now plug in this first part. So what is f of x plus delta x comma y? So I told you f of x, y is right here. This is the expression, right? All we have to do is keep y as it is in place of x, we write down x plus delta x because we are changing x to x plus delta x. So let's rewrite it. So we have three times, instead of x, we write x plus delta x. Remember three has to be multiplied to the entire thing. Be careful about that. And then plus two y remains as it is because y doesn't change. Okay, so this is the expression for this first term, then you subtract the function itself, so this entire 3x plus 2y. Again, it's a very good idea to keep this entire expression inside a bracket to make sure that you know this negative sign will distribute, okay? And then you divide by delta x. All right, now let's simplify. So in the numerator, distribute three. So you have three x, then plus three times delta x plus two y. And then you're distributing, distributing the negative sign, so negative three x and negative two y. The whole thing divided by delta x. Notice that some things will cancel in the numerator, right? Here's a 3x and here's a negative 3x cancels. And the positive 2y and the negative 2y cancels as well. And we end up having, in the numerator, see the only term that is left is 3 delta x. And denominator is delta x. And as delta x approaches to zero, see the approaching means delta x will actually never be equal to zero, and therefore, we can cancel out delta x as well. And so, we end up having limit of three as delta x approaches to zero, but limit of a constant is the constant itself. 
And so that is the first partial derivative of the function with respect to x. Now let's compute the first partial derivative with respect to y. So first of all, what is the definition? How will this definition change now? Look, now we have with respect to y. Therefore, x is constant. So we don't change x, but instead we just change y. So the definition is limit in limit of what? Not delta x approaching to 0, but delta y approaching to 0. Everything switches now, the x and y. And in the expression here, you have f of, remember, x is fixed. x won't change. y is changing to y plus delta y. And then minus f of x comma y, and then divided by delta y. Okay. Now write down each of these expressions using the function. Okay, so come back here. This is the expression for function. How do we evaluate this first term? See, the x remains as it is. y is replaced by y plus delta y. So let's write that down. You have 3x, doesn't change, plus 2 times, instead of y, you write y plus delta y. Again, remember and be very careful, this 2 should be multiplied to the entire thing. Okay, two will distribute. So that's the first term. And then you subtract the entire function just by itself. So 3x plus 2y. Again, keep this expression inside a bracket. Make sure that you don't make a mistake that the negative sign will distribute for both terms. Divide by delta y. Let's simplify now. In the numerator, we have 3x, then 2 times y, so 2y, plus 2 times delta y. And the negative sign distributes, so negative 3x, negative 2y over delta y. Again, notice some things will cancel, 3x and negative 3x, they will cancel. 2y and negative 2y will cancel as well. So what remains is just one term, 2 times delta y. And you're dividing by delta y. Again, notice this is a limit when delta y is approaching 0, so it will never be equal to 0. And so delta y can be canceled. So this is equal to limit of and since this is just a constant, limit is just itself. So 2 is the partial derivative of the function with respect to y. Thank you.